I'm Suzanne Huffman. I'm the Digital Resources Librarian at the University of Mary Washington Simpson Library. So throughout this past year, we have been in the library working on some kiosk exhibits using touchscreen panels that have been installed in the bridge space gallery between the library and the rest of the ITCC. And the point of these kiosks is sort of dofold, one to highlight different materials that the library has in the university archives and special collections, and also to provide a space for students and faculty to showcase some of their digital projects that lend themselves to a touchscreen format. One of the projects that we've worked on since the beginning actually was the idea of John Morello. It was the Technology Through Time exhibit of technology changes throughout the history of the university. So we started really looking at the very beginning, looking at uh, bookmaking classes that students back in the 20s took, and then going all the way through changes, you know, network coming into the university, the building of the ITCC, everything to domain of one's own, so all the changes that have happened throughout the history of the university in terms of technology. And we put that into a timeline using Timeline JS, which is a free program from the Knight Lab out of Northwestern University. One of the other projects that we've done for the kiosk exhibits was utilizing the new capability of our rare book scanner. This is something that we have in the digital archiving lab. It's enabled us to capture images from some of our, really the gems of our rare book collection here at the university. One of which is a Dutch atlas from the 1640s and there's a great variety of maps in this atlas, one of which is a map of Virginia adapted from earlier maps done by Captain John Smith and others. So using our rare book scanner, we were able to capture this map in really high definition and then create a gigapixel export of that with tiles. And that enables us to put the tiles into a, another mapping tool called StoryMap.js from the Northwestern Night Lab. And using that, we uh, are able to just really zoom in and capture the detail of the fine artwork done by the map makers back in the 1600s.